Hello, hello, hello. It's Wednesday, so it's time for my weekly tips here on Business the Introvert Way with Susanna Ray, myself. And today I'm going to be talking about, oh, I've got to start at the right end. Is this end? <laughs> Can't do it. So seven Ps to make your world spin better. So what do I mean by this and what are the seven Ps? Well, when we're working online and it gets a bit overwhelming and everything is spinning around in like completely different ways, I sometimes think it feels like you're, there's like loads of atoms spinning around a nucleus and you're like trying to grab them and pull them in and you're not quite sure how to do this or in what way because everything's spinning, spinning, spinning. And when we can help to sort of start to contain it and bring it in closer, it really helps to actually go back to some traditional business methods. There's so many like latest craze, do this, this is the roadmap to do that and where are we going? And you get so overwhelmed by everything that is out there. But at the end of the day, if you're running your business online or offline, you need to follow certain principles which have been there since sort of year dot. And it's more important to progress at a slow and steady rate than it is to fight and like get into overwhelm and burn yourself out trying to get those elusive earn seven figures in one year type programs that you have out there is yes, that is achievable, but only if you found the ways that suit you to really progress your business. Because we all have different personalities and we all work in very different ways. But at the basis of it all, there are these seven Ps that you need to take into account when you're building your business. And you need a bit of all of them. And how much you do or how you do it that is something that is more a deep delve that I won't be going into this brief under 10 minute a weekly tip. So let's get on with it. The first one in terms of what does it mean for your business is the first one that we all need is people. You cannot run a business if you don't have people because people buy from your business. And online is about the personal connections and finding the right people, not only to be your clients, but also those who can support and connect with you. So making sure you've got the right circles around you, people who build your energy, not who drain it. If you have people around you who are draining your energy, just nicely, kindly say thank you, goodbye, I'm not interested. The joy of social media is you can unfollow people, you can disconnect in not a rude way. You don't have to say, hey, I'm never talking to you again, but you can just silently and quietly just step to a side for a moment and say, I don't really want to have your energy in my life right now. The next one that's really important is purpose. Now, purpose is about knowing your why and your vision and the importance of knowing this. I'm sure you've heard it many times. You think, yeah, but I just want to earn a business. I want to earn an income. But if you know your deeper why, why are you doing it? Are you connecting for your family, for freedom, for a lifestyle change, something that will actually help you and benefit you? When the going gets tough and it always gets tough at some point. It's definitely not an easy walk in the park, running your own business. But when the going gets tough, you can take yourself back to why you started your business in the first place and reconnect. And then that can give you more energy to move forward. So this is also really important is perspective. So what is it? that you have that brings a unique perspective. You see things through your own lens. And what is it that you bring to your business? And it's really important to show this on a regular basis to your clients as well. Think of it as a culture ad. 
What culture do you bring to your offering that nobody else brings? The next one is power and power is about having a strong identity and your inner confidence and your belief that you can do it, it is possible. And more importantly, the power of your offers or products to help and serve others who need them. Because if you don't believe in your own product, in your own offering fully, then why should others believe in you as well? So you need to possess your own power and confidence. And this doesn't have to be the shouty shouty, like, hey, aren't I amazing type of powerful confidence. It can be inner and quiet and based in your heart, but you know deep inside of you that you have that power to succeed. You know you have the right products, the right offers, and you can genuinely and wholly serve people. So planning is number five on my list. And yes, I know many of you will go, oh, but I just want to go with the flow. I'm more intuitive in nature. Why do I have to plan? Well, if you've decided to start a business, here's the cold hard truth. Planning is part of every business. Whether it's your marketing and how you're getting the word out there, whether it's your offers and what you need to do, or even your financial projections. If you actually want to earn a living from your business, you need to plan and see what do my offers need to be? At what price? How often do I have to sell them? Then you can go, well, how can I make those sales? How many people do I need to reach? And having set targets really, really helps with getting your business from just sort of pottering along to actually making you glow with pride. Packaging online is still like traditional packaging, you think about boxes, you go to a supermarket and what do you buy in and what do you see on it? So the online packaging is very strong in terms of your brand. Now this is the colors you use, the fonts you use, the taglines that you use often and frequently in your business. And this packaging will show up on your website, in your social media and in anywhere else where you have an online presence, whether you're writing articles or magazines. But being strong in your packaging, which online is both your personal brand as well as your company brand. And often if you're working for yourself, those two are very intertwined. So you can't think about, well, that's my company, not me. Because if you're using social media, like here, where I'm speaking from right now, this is social media and this is us as a person talking for our business, for our brand. So that's super important. And it leads me on to number seven, which is promotion. So yes, promotion, marketing, getting your word out there. You need to think about how you want to connect and engage most importantly with your reader, with your audience. What do they want to hear? How do they want to discover things? Where do they want to go? And this, in this day and age, if you want to use social media rather than traditional advertising, it's about your visibility and being visible regularly online so people feel they can reach out and ask questions. Not many people would ask a question of a stranger, but to somebody they know and trust and they value the knowledge that they've given or they love the artwork that's being created or the product that you're selling when they see other people saying hey I love this product it's worked so well for you for me then that brings the trust which brings the invisibility and it's getting out there and you need that before someone gets to the point of purchase so these are things that you have to build up consistently and do regularly, not just when you're about to launch a program, to launch a new product. It needs to be something that is constant throughout the year. Because if you want to stay top of mind to a future client, then the only way you'll do that is to keep your visibility high. Number eight is profit, because to allow for the impact at a level you desire, you need to bring in the profit to your business. 
So some of this you will reinvest in the business. Some of it will go obviously to your daily expenses. Other things you might invest in yourself in terms of training and coaching to make sure that you're on your game and keeping yourself working forward. And then the last one of these nine Ps for making your world spin the right way online is processes. So processes is the point when you bring in more automation. And this is at the level in your company when you're getting ready to scale. So when you first start out, you will be the one person, the one woman band where you will be doing everything. But they'll get a point in your working week when you'll realize that you just don't have enough time to do everything. And this is a point where you have to start implementing some processes whether these are sort of internal and computer based or whether they're heading out more to hiring, beginning to hire the team, like having an assistant, assistant, having somebody to run your Facebook ads for you. At that point, it's really important that your profits actually go into your processes to reinvest so you can scale up. Because whenever we scale up to the next level, there will be a period where there's greater investment before you reap the returns of that investment. So those were the nine P's of working online and I'll just take them back down in order. So if you've just joined in or catching the replay, we'll do the countdown back to zero. So number nine was processes, eight was profit, seven was promotion, six was packaging, five was planning, four was power, three was perspective, two was purpose, one was people. And they're the seven Ps to make your world spin better. So I hope that's sort of set off a few sort of sparks in your brain and thinking, maybe I need to do more of this or maybe I need to do that. And if you have any questions as ever, please do ask either directly underneath this video or please do send me a personal message, a direct message. I do contact and talk to everybody who I connect with online. Thank you, Kaylee, for joining me live. I see you there. That's lovely. And um, yeah, just let us know how your day's going and if there's anything you need. I'm also willing to take suggestions for my weekly tips. So every Wednesday I come live here on my page and you can check the videos tab to see past weekly tips. And I try and put good titles along the base to help you find the ones that might help you at the time. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.